It's One Soccer, everyone. Andy Petrillo, Oliver Platt, Gareth Wheeler. It appears to be a done deal. Gentlemen, a familiar face returning to Toronto FC. That would be Richie Larea. From a professional standpoint, from Toronto FC standpoint, Ollie, let's first begin with that and what this means for the club to get a defender like him back. Well, it was a big hole they needed to fill, right? You know, I think TFC this summer has, has been trying to fill in the starting lineup in, in terms of where they've maybe got some younger players who have been exposed to big minutes and, and maybe just aren't quite ready for it yet. I think Kosi Thompson has done well at times, but also has fit that description at, at, at times of, of just needing a bit more time and a, a bit more development before he's potentially ready to take that starting right back role. And, and you get a player in Richie Larea who, you know, instantly is obviously one of the top, if not the top fullback. In, in Major League Soccer. So we, we know TFC wanted to keep Larea in the first place. He wanted to go to Europe and, and obviously test himself there. That hasn't worked out, unfortunately, as as, as well as we all would have liked. Um, but now he gets an opportunity to come back. I, I think for the player, it's obviously vital that he's playing regular minutes going into the World Cup. And this is the safest environment for Ronzo for him to do that, right? He knows the club, knows the environment, knows he's going to play every single week and, and he's going to be playing alongside some very good players as well. With Richie Larea coming, I think it's appropriate and important to stress that he was always in Toronto FC sites. We reported uh, at the, you know, towards the the, the, back, the back end of last season, or, or sorry, the, the back end of last season's championship season, that TFC had interest in bringing in Larea much sooner. But the fact that they were on this run towards the Premier League meant that uh, Forrest simply couldn't afford to get rid of the player in case of injuries, in case of a number of different things. So uh, TFC has not wavered on their interest in bringing back Loray. In fact, they offered him a massive contract to stay, mm -hmm. but he wanted that he, he wanted that experience. And it, it, it's taken a lot of, you know, juggling of the squad and, and the finances, moving up in the uh, allocation order in, in order to get this done. This is not an easy deal to complete. And the fact that he's coming on loan, I, I think that it works in both parties' interest. For TFC, they're only six points back of the playoff spot. Does anyone really rate, you know, Charlotte? Columbus is a point better in six. Like, there's an opportunity in a very, very bang average Eastern Conference with 11 games to go. Bring as much talent in as possible and see what can happen here. Six points is not that big of a gap. And then for Lorea, I mean, it was, it's been stressed to me, and I know it was, was stressed to the player through the national team as well, that he simply had to play in order to retain mm -hmm. his spot in a prominent role ahead of the World Cup in Qatar. Alistair Johnston's playing that position. There's lots of versatility in this Canadian men's national team. Lorea, when, he, when he's in form, when he's playing regular football, like he's hard to keep out of the team, isn't he? But yeah. even he realizes, you know, that, that that minutes in the Premier League, you know, probably wasn't a good chance to log a ton of minutes on a forest side, which is completely being turned inside out. Like the team is completely different that's going into the Premier League now than played in the league championship. So I think that this move works really well for both parties involved. And the fact that Lorea wanted to come back and the club steadfast, you know, steadfastly wanted to wanted him to return as well mm -hmm. in a position of need at right back. Uh, it really ticks all the boxes of move like this. Ticks the boxes for Toronto FC. And as you've mentioned, and Ollie, I don't know if you want to elaborate, it really yeah. does help the player and helps the national team because they are heading, this is a World Cup year, they are heading to Qatar, and he simply was not playing. Ollie, at mm -hmm. times, he wasn't even on the bench. Right, and, and he has to be playing. And, mm -hmm. you know, whether there was something, an option in Europe there to, to go to another championship club or to go to a different country, I think there were some rumors there. But like I said, I think coming back to TFC just guarantees him what he needs between now and the, and the World Cup. What, one thing I'll add on this is that obviously the obvious fit is at right back where there's a bit of a hole for TFC right now. I do wonder as well if, if Richie Larea could be an option to play on the left with Lorenzo Insigne. You know, I think that would be an incredibly dynamic partnership. Larea, we know, can play that side. We know Insigne can play with right-footed left-backs. We saw it with, with Spinozola at the Euros combining very well. So I think it gives Bob Bradley some different options in that respect as well. I, I just wanted to add one thing, Andy. It's really interesting because the conversation around TFC was is being all about bringing in Italian players to be part of this project. I firmly believe that bringing in men's national team players ahead of the 2026 World Cup is a path that they want to go down. There's going to be genuine interest in players who are contributing to the Canadian men's national team to bring them to TFC. It's part of the build, both trying to put the best team possible on the field, but there's a marketing side of this as well. Like these players who become faces in the Canadian sports landscape, 
they sell tickets as well. People are intrigued. Mm -hmm. People want to see them play. So I think there's a lot of moving parts here, but it's not just the Italians are coming. The Canadians are coming back. And then when you insulate them with young Canadian players coming through and given mm -hmm. appropriate minutes for where they're at in terms of their development, I think it has potential to be a really intriguing mix for them. So far, we've seen Toronto FC make moves up front in the midfield and also now on that back line. Uh, we're hearing Richie Larea is already on his way to Toronto. The next game for Toronto FC, though, is on the road in Nashville. Uh, but on August 13th, they do have that home game against Portland. So we will see when Richie Larea will make his debut. Do we call it that if he's already played? For the the return of Richie. The return debut. of Richie Larea.